Hello, my name is Jean-Yves Rigolet. I'm part of the Rational IDs virtualization team. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can access Rational Development Environment running onto the IBM Smart Cloud Enterprise. You will note that the ID used in this video is based on Rational Application Developer. But of course, what you will see can be applied to all the Rational ID images available in the SCE catalog. Whether you want to build mobile or next generation web applications using Rational Application Developer or model system with Rational Software Architect, write mid-range code with Rational Developer for Power Systems or build mainframe applications with Rational Developer for System Z. During this video, you will see all the steps you need to start developing in the cloud. First, we will request a development environment to the Smart Cloud Enterprise portal. Next, you will see how to access your development environment. And finally, I will show you the content of your development environment running in the Smart Cloud Enterprise. So let's get started. Firstly, I would like to introduce a high level representation of the various artifacts and how they will be used during this video. From the browser running on my local desktop, I will request the Smart Cloud Enterprise to create an instance of Rational Application Developer. During this request, I will download from the SCE to my local desktop the secure RSA key used by this instance. The virtual machine hosting my Rational ID will then be provisioned and made available to me. Then I will have to import the RSA key in Putty Gem and save a PPK key to be used by Putty to create an SSH connection. This is done, I will securely connect to my instance using Putty and remotely access my ID through VNC. The simplest way to request a rational ID to be created is to use the Smart Cloud Enterprise portal. To do so, I will sign in the SC using my IBM ID and associated password. Note that if you don't have an IBM account yet, or if you don't remember your password, simply follow the hyperlinks presented to end all your situation. When logged in the SCE portal, you arrive on the overview panel. You can see that we don't have any instance yet, so we are offered to create one to get started with the SCE. What I'm going to do now is to click on the creation hyperlink proposed. This will open a control panel on the Instances page. From there, I can request a new instance by clicking on the Add Instance button. This action opens a creation wizard on the Image Selection page. Now, in order to refine the selection scope, I will provide additional information. Using the View Combo box, I only select the images from the public catalog. Then I select the data center where I want my instance to run, rather in my case. Note that all rational IDEs have been made available on all ESC data centers, so don't hesitate to select one near you. Finally, as it will still offer lots of images, I will enter a filter criteria to only get the rational IDEs that I need. And here they are, the four images of the Rational Development Environments. IBM Rational Application Developer, IBM Rational Developer for Power System Software, IBM Rational Developer for System Z, and IBM Software Architect for WebSphere Software. As you can see, all four images mention BYOL. This means that you will be entitled to use your existing developer tool license into the instance created. I will continue this video using the RAD image, which I select and click on the next button. Now I need to provide a few parameters to set up my instance. I first give a display name to it. This will help me identify it later. Then I can choose the size of the virtual machine that will host my development environment. 
As you can see, various memory and disk sizes are available from the smallest copper to the biggest platinum. Rational developer tools don't need big machines to run, so I take the smallest one, labeled copper. I even check the local VM disk to be minimal, as this will reduce the provisioning time of my instance. Securing the access to your machine is important. The Smart Cloud Enterprise offers RSA key encryption to communicate to your instance. If I had a key already, I could select it from the combo box, but as I don't have one yet, I would request a new key by clicking on the Add Key button. Then I enter a name for it. and click on the Generate a new key pair button. When the generation is complete, I need to download the new key to my local machine. Note that you will not be able to get this key file again, so save it to a safe place. And remember that you won't be able to access all your instances using this key anymore if you lose it. I can now close this dialog to continue. For sake of simplicity, in this video I will not use a VLAN fixed IP address or a person disk for my instance. If you want to do this advanced setup, please refer to the SC user's guide documentation. The configuration of my instance is nearly done now. What I still need to do is to provide parameters to personalize my rational ID instance. For my RAD instance, I only have to provide the password that will be needed to remotely access my desktop. As you can see, the creation wizard controls that the password you enter complies with basic password rules. Note that these rules can be easily extended to match the ones in your company. When all your parameters are correct, clicking the next button will display a summary of your instance configuration. At this stage, you can still cancel your request and change some or all of it. This won't be the case once you've agreed with the SC terms and click the Submit button. We now return to the control panel. As you can see, your request is listed and will go through three states before you can access your rational ID. It starts with requesting, then moves to the provisioning state and to finish with active. Now, I'm going to check what information is provided by this instance. And there are a few important ones that I'm going to need before I can access my development environment. The first important one displayed is the IP address of my virtual machine. The host name of the machine is also shown, along with all the details. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you will see a getting started view. This view displays the software details that are available in your instance, but also an hyperlink to a guide on how to connect and access your rational ID residing on the cloud. So let's have a look at this documentation. Whether you're using a PC with Windows or Linux or even a Mac, you will find all the steps to follow to access your remote development environment. Note that this guide also contains an FAQ section at the end of the document. With all the information that we need, we're now ready to access a rational development environment running on the IBM Smart Cloud Enterprise. In this video, I will be using PuTTY to securely handle the connection and VNC to remotely access my rational ID. The first thing I need to do to create a secure connection with PuTTY is to generate a PPK file from the key used by my instance that I downloaded previously from the SCE portal. To do so, I launch a tool named PuttyGen where I load my key file into. Once loaded, I need to save the private key with or without passphrase associated to it. 
I choose not to have one for this demonstration. I then save the generated file onto my local disk. And close the pretty gen tool. Next step is to create and set up the connection to my instance using PuTTY. To do so, I launch the PuTTY tool where I will need to provide the IP address of my Rational ID instance. I'm going to copy paste the IP address from the instance details panel in the SCE portal. Selecting the session category in PuTTY, I paste the IP address and save this new connection configuration. What is needed next is to detail the connection. Under the connection data folder, I enter IDC user as the auto login username, and then, after expanding the SSH folder, I will reference the PPK file generated from my RSA key. The last setup that remains to be made is to ensure that the connection is tunneled using port 5901 for the source and local host on the same port as the destination. Make sure you click on the Add button before you open your connection. And that was the last step before we can get to a rational ID residing on the cloud. I can now launch my VNC viewer on localhost 1 as the name of the VNC server and click on the connect button. VNC then asks for the password that you provided in VSE when requesting your instance. And we are now in the cloud inside our rational development environment. So let's have a look at what there is in it. From the applications menu, we can see that there is IBM Rational Application Developer along with Rational Team Concept behind, IBM WebSphere Application Server, the Firefox Web Browser, and the IBM Installation Manager in order for you to personalize the IBM products currently installed and set up in your environment. Now is a good time to start coding in the cloud. So let's launch RAD either from the Applications menu or from the icon on a desktop. The environment opens on the Welcome page where you can access documentation and tutorials. Going to the Workbench opens the default Java EE perspective. Now, if you want to connect to your Jazz server, open the Work Items perspective and provide the necessary connection details. Now that you have seen how to create and access rational IDEs running on the IBM Smart Cloud Enterprise, we hope you will enjoy using the power of the cloud to conduct your software delivery. Thank you for your interest in this video.